Yo guys, what is going on? We do have another review, man. I, I'm sorry guys if there's a lot of reviews going on the channel. It's going to be the same way as last weekend, even more maybe this weekend. We may be having some huge upload spam coming for you guys. I know on the review channel, you guys have already told me that you guys are okay with that. Um, for the most part, just because, um, you know, most people have been saying it's all right. We want to see how the players are anyway, so it's okay to spam. Anyways, guys, Douglas Costa is going to be uh, the foot birthday card that we're going to be trying. The first foot birthday card from the second squad. Um, he is a million coins right now. I got him for 750 earlier today when he was going extinct. I sniped him right away just to make sure I could get him because this card or Quincy Promos was the card that I was really looking forward to. If you guys know the way I play FIFA, this is the card that I would love for a certain system fit. Um, what I mean by that is I will talk about that in a minute. Anyways... If you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. Um, we played six games of champs on my main account with him today. Um, he has contributed four goals and had five assists in a position that is not a central position. Um, he obviously has the Juve links. Um, Brazil uh, is the nationality, which is going to always inflate the price. 97 pace, uh, 86 shooting, 85 passing, 95 dribbling, 74 physical. He did get a huge shooting upgrade, um, just to point that out. He's five foot eight, high medium worker. It's very good for the attack. I loved his gold card in the beginning of the year. It was very good for me positionally in a 4-2-3-1. What this guy did for me was create tons of space, executed the final pass, and we played it to a player that had better finishing. I think his card had 63 finishing. Uh, five-star skills and five-star weak foot on this card, guys. He is five-star, five-star now before he had three-star weak foot and is now a five-star, five-star attacker, which is just deadly. Um, it really is. It's it's a deadly thing to have. Trait-wise, he has flare shot trait. Flare trait, not flare shot. Flare trait, nothing else other than that. Uh, in games, uh, 90 in acceleration, 95 sprint speed. You're not going to need to boost that. And you can trust me right now. You're not going to need to boost that 87 attack positioning, which is very good. And then 75 finishing. That is the only downside of this card is that the finishing is below 80. And normally I would tell you that's ridiculous. Now, right away, I would not play Douglas Costa centrally with 75 finishing. I just wouldn't do it. Um, I would play him in a wide position because that is what you're going to do best with Douglas Costa. You are going to try to torment people and torture people on the wings. Um, so, 99 shot power is also sick. Uh, you're going to notice that. He beams the net. 94 long shots is something that will cancel out the finishing. If you're outside the box, guys, shoot long shots with him. If you have 99 shot power and 94 long shots, there's a very good chance that you will be able to bang the net. There's a very solid chance. All right? 89 volleys, 90 penalties, 86 vision, 88 crossing, 83 free kick accuracy, uh, 89 short passing, 90 curve. Um, the passing at 89 is very good. The long passing is concerning. If you're really out wide, if you're playing a 4-2-3-1 and you're playing a wide variant, you may notice that his passing is really bad. He's got 97 agility, which is so responsive. Uh, before Kem, like if anybody has those stats pre-chem style, they're going to be ridiculous because I believe in chemistry styles, but not to the full effect. So having that is crazy. Uh, 95 balance as well. 83 reactions, a little bit on the lower side there. 95 ball control, 96 dribbling, and 83 composure. Right, composure over 80 is important. Strength at 70 is not bad. It's a benchmark. 70 is way better than 69. The way that EA does stats, the 80 is way better than 79. That's how they do it, but it is. It's like a plus three when it's, you get that boost. 86 stamina is also very good for the wide player. Um, 72 jumping, crossing is not relevant this year. Anyways, guys, you can see that I chose the Deadeye chemistry style for Douglas Costa. Now, the reason for that is because he was playing as a winger in my formation. So, you want to boost the finishing when he gets into the box. 290 with the chemistry style. The attack positioning then goes to 99. And the long shots also go to 99. Also, you're going to get the passing at the short value to go to 99. If you had, with the chemistry style, 99 short passing, 99 attack positioning, and 90 finishing, with 99 long shots and 99 shot power, it makes for a very good 5-star, five 5-star five wide player. Um, so the formation that we played in game, guys, is going to be the 3-1-4-2 uh, with 9 depth. And then the position he's playing is going to be uh, left wing. Left wing slash left mid. Um, we did put him on stay wide, get him behind, and come back on defense just so he was tracking back a little bit because the way my formation plays is very attacking. Uh, and this way, when we do the stay wide and get him behind, Douglas Costa is such a threat out wide that he's going to require players to come out and commit to him. So that's why I put that stay wide on him because I don't want him too central because I want him to be able to free up players and, and be creating, causing havoc uh, out wide. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up, enjoy the highlights, and we'll talk after with how he was.
How is that game blocked? Dude, this Douglas Costa. Chad, this Douglas Costa, bro. I can't explain to you. This is why I love Douglas Costa, though, man. He's so responsive, bro. Like, you just move your left stick and he does what you want, bro. This is why I liked him in the beginning of the year, though. It's act so as hell. How do we just get out of that? But look at what happens if we defend it, chat. We got numbers, baby. All right, lovely. 4-0. Douglas Costa leading the charge. Lovely. 75 finishing, and he shows that he can tap it in. Well, he's got 90 with the chem style, right? He shot it right at the keeper. <laughs> Oh my lord. <laughs> run, run Douglas, run. Run. Oh my god. Nah, this pace, bro. This pace, this pace, this pace on this card is absurd. Chat, chat, this pace though, chat, this pace on Douglas Costa, I'm telling you right now, this pace is insane. Oh boy, a lot of pressure here, fuck's sake. I want out of there. I'll, I'll, oh, I triggered the run and he's running. Douglas, run. Oh my god! Gucci, what are you doing, bro? Oh, chat, fraud or not fraud? Okay, chat, that's a really good finish. Chat, that's a really good finish, man. That was not an easy angle. What do you think? Kaka with the good contribution to the second half. Bro, this is absurd, this pace. This pace is absurd, dudes. This is why I was so in love with him in the beginning of the year, man. I put him in a 4 2 3 one and I threw him all the way out at mid, left mid, and I just never went inside with him. I just used him as a pace whore. It's stupid, the agility on this card. This is why... Nice ball. What a ball, man, from Costa. What a ball, man. That was beautiful. Oh, chat. I think it was in. Chat, I think that volley was going to be in, though. I think that volley was going to be in, bro. I think that volley was going to be in. Market or anything? There's going to be less players. Like People always know it's less. The market just flies that second week of the promos, dude. What a fucking ball. Bro, his passing is really good, man. Yo, this Dino, man. Yo, look. I got to be honest. I don't love his ball control. Like, his first touch is questionable. His dribbling response to this is nice. But, bro, his chips are insane. Foul, foul, foul. No, it's a foul, ref. Ref, that's a foul. You know it too, ref. Little rat. Oh, he's done. He's done for over here. Look at that first touch. Oh, you can't stop him. 
You can't stop this man! No, the postman! The post! The postman! The postman! The postman! Oh. Uh, do you think Douglas Costa will drop below 500k? Uh. Red! And they collided! Red and they collided! So guys, that is going to be the highlights for Douglas Costa. Um, he's probably not worth a million, but he's worth pretty damn close. Some of you guys might be surprised by this, but I tell you, man, he's the fastest. He This is the most responsive and fastest card I've used yet in FIFA. Straight up. More than Neymar, more than any of these guys. The way that this guy turns and, 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 and gathers speed is mental. Uh, and this is what I had originally known with him in his gold card. And I knew that if EA had ever given him any type of, type of pace upgrade or any type of like boost on a special card, that he was going to start to get ridiculous. Um, this card is really overpowered. Very good. It, it, it's like an Adama pace-wise that just is more responsive and has a better final touch, right? His passing is way better than Adama. His shooting is way better than Adama. Well, not necessarily shooting. I, I don't know, though. I felt like his shooting wasn't terrible. I, I really... I didn't notice the 75 finishing. I did hit a post of them, and then I also had a post it in. So if you're getting this card, I'm going to recommend to you, here's why you shouldn't get this card. Don't get this card if you're going to rely on him for finishing. Do get this card if you're looking to add somebody to your team and you can skill and you're looking for somebody to help you break the opponent's back line, create space, and then pass the ball. This guy has a final touch of brilliance with the high short passing. Uh, you know, it, it really is going to allow you with the agility and the balance to, to bob and weave through opponent's defenses. I was really impressed with this guy. He's probably not worth a million coins, but he's probably damn worth close between six to 700 to 500 K. He fits this game's meta perfectly. Like really does guys. I, I can't stress this enough. Um, so positives with him. I really enjoyed his, his skills. I really enjoyed his wide play. I really enjoyed the fact that he had almost no emphasis on any touch. Um, and yeah, I, I thought he was really good. So I, I like this card guys. I was really impressed with him, man. And I understand why people are playing big bucks. Usually there is stupidity buying on this game where people overpay for cards, but a lot of the time, if a card's holding value on a Friday of a promo, there's a reason. And I think the reason he is holding value at 900k is because he's very good. Um, so I was impressed. We're going to continue to use him in the weekly and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, thumbs up, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.